Hi friends, we're going to do a little math lesson today. So we're going to talk about attributes. It's a really big word, isn't it? Let me say it again. Attributes. Can you say that word? Attributes. An attribute is how we describe something. So it's how we tell someone what something is. So before we start really talking about that, I want you to listen to a little song that's in our Frog Street curriculum about different words we can use to describe things. This is Tiffany over here. She has on a bright blue dress. This is Tiffany, our new friend. We're so glad she's here. This is Patrick over here. He has on new black shoes. This is Patrick, our new friend. We're so glad he's here. This is Carmen over here. She has on a fuzzy pink sweater. This is Carmen, our new friend. We're so glad she's here. This is Jonathan over here. He has on his favorite red shirt. This is Jonathan, our new friend. We're so glad he's here. That song was called This Is Tiffany. And it talked about different ways to describe people. So it said, Tiffany was wearing a blue shirt. So blue is our describing word. It is our attribute. The next little boy was wearing black shoes. So black would be our describing word. It would be our attribute. Then it went on to talk about a fuzzy pink shirt or sweater. So fuzzy pink sweater would be our describing word. That's our attribute. <clears throat> so if we were in our classroom and I said, can you go over and get that girl for me? And maybe there are four girls there. Would you know which girl I was talking about? You wouldn't, would you? Because there are four girls. But if I said, will you go get the girl in the pink shorts? Would you know which girl I was talking about? Probably, because pink shorts tell us who that girl is. Pink shorts are the attributes. They're the attributes. They're the describing words. So I'm going to get Fernando out now, and I'm going to hold him up next to me. And do you see, Fernando and I each have stripes on our shirts. So that could be an attribute. Could be an attribute. We could say... Could you go get me the person wearing the striped shirt? And if I ask you that, could you get me or Fernando, right? Because we both have striped shirts. But if you wanted to get Fernando, you could say, could you go get the person with the rainbow stripes on their shirt? See, Fernando has yellow and orange and green and blue and pink and purple on his shirt. I just have green. I have green on mine. So attributes help us to identify certain people or certain things. So if I needed, or if you needed something to write with, I could say, go over to the art area and pick out something to write with. But what if you wanted or you ask me to go to the art area and get you something to write with. But in your head, you were thinking, I really want a purple crown. Well, when I go to the art area, we have markers and crowns and pencils and colored pencils and pens. So maybe I go over and pick up a blue pen. Was that what you were wanting? So if you want to be specific and you want to tell us exactly what you want, you have to use those attribute words, those describing words. So you would say, Miss Margaret, can you go get me a purple crayon from the art area? And then I would know. That's also how we can sort objects. Tomorrow we'll be sorting some things by color. 
The attribute is the color, so we'll sort by red and blue and green. So tomorrow we'll sort by color, we'll sort by the attributes. Talk with your parents about other ways that we can, that we can identify besides color. How, how other, what are some other ways we can sort or we can group things together? We talked about girls, the girls, so we could sort by girl and boy. If we were in our classroom, we would sort by girl and boy. So we'd put the girls on one side and the boys on one side. So that's sorting by an attribute. So see if you can think of some other ways. And this week, during our virtual lessons, we'll do some more sorting, some more attributes. Tell me some other ways. Have your parents send me a message or talk to your parents about some other attributes that you see on Fernando. Some other ways we can describe Fernando. Look at, look at him real fast. I'll give you a minute to look at him. And I'll show you his whole body. Because he's got, he's got these cute little pants. And he's got some little shoes on. There are lots of attributes for Fernando. How can we describe him? What describing words can you come up with for him? Send me a message on Learning Genie, or have your parents talk to your parents about how we can describe, how we can tell about Fernando. If we had four frog puppets in our classroom and I just wanted Fernando, how could you tell me? How could you describe Fernando to me so that I could go pick him out out of all of the frog puppets? Okay, so use your thinkers and come up with some attributes. And we'll do more this week with attributes. Say that word with me one more time, attribute. And remember, that's how we describe something.